I mean, so David, we have to talk about David. Um, he looks like he was a huge amount of fun to play. I have to say, you're in the front row in the scene that we saw. Hopefully we've got the clip. You're like this, really eager to please. Yeah. Um, what, I mean, is playing an android different from playing a human? Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, it was, you know, there's various sort of elements where I wanted to, you know, uh, take on a certain physicality, obviously. Um, and I just, uh, yeah, I think, you know, eager student is, is, is a good sort of... Uh, I'll answer that question. Yeah, you know, that exactly. Time. So there's only sort of, you know, I, I don't know any robots. Uh, <laughs> so I can only sort of draw from things that I thought, you know, would be programmed, seeing that he's sort of programmed by human beings. Yeah. How would they want him uh, to be programmed? I think uh, quite a subservient character, but you know because they're being packaged and sold. You know, there's many Davids being sold out. Each one's probably got their That's own. That's right. Yeah. Their own little you kink. Think of it. Yeah. So uh, it's a uh, you know it, that that way I've, I it was fun to sort of play around with a personality that would be sort of you know more identifiable as a human being. And even your physicality, the way you moved, was yeah. quite. And did you not model that on the the diver, Greg? Greg Luganis, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know why. I just thought, you know, there was a real sort of. I, I thought somebody who does sort of, you know, some yo yoga master or somebody who's very who's got very good posture. That's something that I, I wanted to sort of have with the cat with the with the robot. Uh, and then I wanted. Uh, I also wanted economy of movement. So the arms aren't really going to do anything. You know, as human beings, we'll take on very sort of sitting positions because we're creating attitudes. Yeah. Whereas, you know, essentially, you know, that's without much attitude. Uh, and so you play with those ideas. And then at various points, Sophie is sitting back in his hip. It's like, well, wait a sec. Is that that's a bit of a human trait there that he's doing? Mm -hmm. So you can play with all those things and blur the lines, you know, also physically. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. He just popped into my head. I thought it was kind of, he always sort of made me laugh when I was watching Greg Luganis as, as a child. But also, he was such an impressive athlete, you know, that I was like, oh, there's something interesting yeah, there. I'll have some of that. I'll do yeah. that, yeah. And now you've had many filmmakers uh, giving you a call, getting the call from Ridley. What is that like? Is it different? Because he's kind of up there with like the Spielbergs. Can't name many of them that you can actually, you know, identify straight away as soon as you hear the name. Yeah. Um, did you get a wee thrill and you thought, I'm going to do it regardless, whatever, just I'll do it? Yeah, no, I mean, I, I got, you know, I, I had the opportunity to meet Ridley, I think um, maybe about a year beforehand, or even bef maybe even two years before. Uh, he saw Hunger and just sort of, you know, said that, you know, he'd like to work with me one day. And we would just sort of, you know, come in and have a chat. So that was already, you know, a very educational discussion, just to sort of listen to his experience. So, yeah, when you have the opportunity to work with him, you take it. You know, because there's just so much you you can learn from the man, uh, as a man as well as a professional. Actually, you know, his his, his experience is, is is intense, and his intelligence uh, and um, in terms of the art world and everything else, and just sort of he, he's very well read. So yeah, it was it was an amazing opportunity that you sort of jump jump at really. Um, what is Prometheus's unique selling point? I mean, we've seen aliens running down corridors and chasing actors. There obviously has to be something different with with this to the rest of the spin-offs from the franchise, mm. what would you say it is? We're chasing the aliens now, ah. down corridors. They're not changing us. It's simple, <laughs> but it's effective. You'll see, it all pans out. You flip it around. <laughs> You're giving nothing away, man. <laughs> nothing away, dang it. Um, but I mean, it, it, it is more about the story, because Ridley said that. We can do spaceships, we can do alien planets, yeah. we can do, it is, it really now, no. it's all about the story and giving us something different and giving us something more interesting. Well, you know, at the center of it all, at the core of it all, is the question about like, us as human beings, you know, what we've been sort of struggling to find answers for for as long as we know we've existed, which is where do we come from and why and what, you know, what's our purpose? And if we, ha you know, is there a creator out there? And if, you know, perhaps you could meet a creator, what would you ask them? Also, one of um, Ridley's hallmarks is strong women. There are some really strong female characters in mm. this as well. You know, if you're looking for a Ripley of sorts, you've mm. got it here, haven't you? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like, I suppose, you know, that's the, the extraordinary thing with what, what the, was brought with the first alien and what Ridley had with the character Ripley there is a woman that has, she has her own objective and she has her own arc independent of a male character. A lot of the times with uh, female characters, it'll be the male character that sort of 
sends them on their yeah. path of discovery, if you like, or s- for some way or other they'll be tied into the, the male sort of objective. And, and, you know, both these characters are very independent and they've got their own sort of track on life and their own way to get there. Do you think we are alone in the universe? Uh, no. Quick answer, there you go. <laughs> and, uh, and one word to sum up the movie. Uh, I would say Greek. Oh, because the other two have been awesome. Yeah, I figured. And surviving. Okay. Or no, it's not awesome. So what it's, you have when you put them together is Greek surviving awesome. So Awesome Greek surviving. And we have to just get one from Ridley and then our, complete. our four words are complete. We're complete. Listen, uh, Michael, it's been a pleasure chatting Cheers, with man. you. Good luck thanks, with the man. film, all right? Thanks. Cheers, thanks. Cheers, man. <laughs>